Hello, this is Mike with Tampa Tech Review. We'll be doing the unboxing of the GoPro HD Hero 2 Outdoor Edition. Been wanting this for a long time. They're hard to come by. Just purchased this today at Best Buy. I bought the last one off the shelf. So right now what we're going to be doing is the unboxing of the Hero 2. We have an instruction manual. HDMI cord. The Lion battery. Some stickers. Various mounts for the Hero 2. This looks like it's the headband for the Hero 2 for the mountain. And yeah. nothing else left in the bottom. Okay, now we will be taking the Hero 2 out of the plastic mountain bracket that comes in the package. You squeeze these two together and you push forward. The Hero 2 comes with a waterproof plastic housing. How to get this off is that you lift in the front and then you fold this up and it comes open. As you notice, a white seal is around here. This aids in the waterproofing ability of the housing. So this slides out right here. And as we have laying out right here is the original. They look similar. But with the Hero 2 you have 11 megapixel quality, the original 5 meg megapixel quality. This is a viewing screen. So if you have purchased this for the first Hero, it is also compatible with the Hero 2. Slide it in like this. There's a hook right here. And it just slides over. Although, the original Hero and Hero 2 look similar. There are several differences. As you notice around the camera lenses, this one's black, this one is white. A main concern with uh, Hero was the light source on the where how you could tell whether or not it was on or off. There's only one light source on the original Hero. On the Hero 2, there are multiple ones. One in the front, one at the top, one on the back, and one on the bottom. Other differences. As you can see here, there's a microphone jack. Another difference between 
the original Hero and the Hero 2 is the HDMI connection. The Hero 2 has it, the original does not. Above the HDMI connection is the memory card slot holder. One of the many options that you can buy in accessories is either a screen or an extended battery pack. I prefer using the screen because I would like to see what I'm shooting, but you cannot combine both of them on one on top of the other. Purchasing the LCD screen, it comes with several different backs to them. Because once mounted onto the Hero or Hero 2, it will not fit inside of this enclose. So you have to put the extended back on there which comes with the LCD screen. You slide it in, push it up in there, and lock it down. This is a non-waterproof back. It has holes in it at the top and bottom. One of the main user-friendly differences between the original Hero and the Hero 2 is the digital screen right here. In the original Hero, it would just give you codes of what it was doing, so you'd have to constantly remember what does this code mean? Is, am I on the right mode to film? Or this one, in pretty much plain English, will tell you what you're on. To reiterate what I said before, that the Hero 2 already has the waterproof door already installed. In with your battery is the non-waterproof door. In with the plastic bag is three mountain brackets. You got one flat one and two curved ones. So in closing, I am really anxious to get to use my Hero 2. So I'm going to plug up my USB charger, put the battery in, and be really good to go tomorrow morning and start filling. So some of the advantages of the Hero 2, as Mike said, is... The camera does shoot in 11 megapixel photos. It does also do 8 megapixel and 5 megapixel, depending on what setting you have it on. And, and as far as capture modes, it does 10 photo burst, it does times, lap, times lapse, and self timer as well. And it accepts up to 32 gigabyte card, class 4 or higher. Uh, but in my opinion, I wouldn't use anything less than a class 10. Uh, just so you get the best transfer of video possible and it's fast enough to do what you want it to do. Thank you for watching the Tampa Tech Review and the unboxing of the GoPro Hero 2 Outdoor Edition. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you would subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with each new video we post. Once again, thank you.